how does internet work see for example we want to search something for example facebook right we are giving internet the url or facebook.com then it will process it right and will connect it to the server right then the server will identify what it is and through cables okay we will identify uh, the, the information is passed back to our computer and we will identify it but we need internet for that right so at the towers will be there towers are connected to the towers are there right for uh, having range so it is connected to the server okay yeah so and also then our computers will get the, what the information is like that the this thing passes that means we have a connected range of cable or network for the transmission of information right so in internet of things there is a similar connected of networks okay but the importance or or the thing to be noted is that phones tablets and pcs are not included as a part of iot okay here what is the difference is the material things are connected to each other through internet for example uh, we uh, our home is more sophisticated and i want to get up at 8 o'clock okay and i put an alarm at 8 o'clock and my in my house all are connected through internet so i if i want to get up at 8 o'clock means my uh, geyser will analyze it okay that i want to get up at 8 o'clock so geyser will on at 7:30 or something and it will what will it do it will on the geyser through internet okay i just did was i just set an alarm for 8 o'clock and the geyser identified that i need to get up at 8 o'clock and it will do what it will do it will on the geyser at uh, 7:30 to have hot water okay similarly my ac uh, realized that i need to get up at 8 o'clock and it again uh, what uh, shut down at 6 uh, o'clock to have uh, to prevent it from intense cold okay also my car got the information that yes to travel i uh, i need to get uh, go out at maybe 9 o'clock so it will have 9 o'clock already starting its ac when 8 a 855 etc so all these things are connected right here uh, do we see any pc or uh, any computers of mobile phones no i just did what i just just did was i just own by set my alarm clock all the things on the my house were connected to internet that is why it identified accordingly there is a machine to machine connection alarm clock to ac or alarm clock to geyser then ac then car etc all these things were connected through internet i just what i just did was i just set up a one alarm clock that's it clear so it's a seamless connected network of embedded objects or devices which identifiers in which machine to machine communication without any human intervention is possible using standard and interoperable communication protocols clear these all are working because of the sensors and other um, electronic devices identifiers etc in it okay the basic thing is we need to have a internet it in general terms it includes any object or thing that can be connected to an internet network from factory equipment and cars to mobile devices and smart watches clear the only requirement for its working is it should be a device which should which we can connect to the internet networks so that is internet of things the most important part to be remembered is that phones tablet pcs which we already use with the help of internet is not involved in internet of things clear as i said before how it works it works with the help of sensors softwares and other technologies that allow them to transmit and receive data how it works it works with the help of sensors software and other technologies that will allow them to transmit and receive data okay it is widely being used to create smart infrastructure like power automotive safe uh, safety surveillance remote health management agriculture smart homes smart cities etc i said when we talk about um, this technologies it will be having a wide 
arena of applications. Similarly, here as well, we can see there are a lot of uh, applications for Internet of Things as well. Clear with the Internet of Things? It means that the devices are connected with Internet then, uh, with the help of sensors, softwares, etc. There will be a machine to machine interaction. Okay. The most important thing to be noted here is phones, tablets, and PCs don't uh, come or don't become part of the Internet of Things. So these are the applications. So in energy engagement, it can be used for grid automation and wireless grid communication. In wearables, wearables mean which we wear, smartwatches, etc. And fitness activity monitors, etc. It could be used. Okay. In home appliances, refrigerator, coffee maker, the similar thing uh, we said before the geezer could be applicable for even coffee maker as well. Okay. So air conditioner, water heater, etc. Then agriculture, smart farming, uh, climate monitoring, forecasting, crop monitoring. It will identify whether the pests are present. It will identify whether soil is uh, not having enough moisture, whether uh, we need to add fertilizers, etc. Okay, it will correctly identify because sensors are there. So it will identify as such. Okay, then cars, automotive cars, then uh, engine management, etc. Then smart manufacturing, improve field service scheduling, industrial communication, flow monitoring, when transportation, traffic management could be done. Okay. Easy parking, whether parking space is available. Vehicle location monitoring. If, it, uh, if it's a mall, big mall, we are often confused where did we park our uh, car, right? So Internet of Things could help us to locate where our vehicle is. Then healthcare, a heart rate, blood mon pressure monitor, etc. Okay. This is even uh, done by the pulse rate, even checked by the smart watches, etc. Right? Smart homes, smart door locks, smart bulbs. We have seen many of the functions or many of the applications, right? Okay. So what is the significance? Here, M2M communication or machine to machine communication is happening. Okay. It means that there is a transparency in the process. Machine-to-machine -machine communication helps to maintain transparency in the process. So it helps in maintaining the quality or uniformity in the quality of service. Okay. And since it is a machine-to-machine -machine interaction and human intervention is very less, meaning the efficiency is very high. Okay. And accuracy is very high. Provides better efficiency and accurate results could be obtained in faster rate. Okay. Efficiency is very high. Accurate results could be obtained at faster rate. Then that means it will increase our convenience and it will help us in better managing the systems and also thereby improving the quality of life. As we know, science and technology or basically technologies are developed for improving our quality of life. Right. So if uh, we are developing a system which is efficient, which is accurate, which is having a only a, which is needing only a less time to perform its functions meaning we are getting faster access to our uh, purposes or uh, of our needs meaning it will improve the quality of our life but there are challenges as well since we know it uses internet right so this means that there will be a data breach okay we often hear of data breach when we uh, consider the case of internet or cyber security, right? So data breach is one of the challenges. And the next thing is most important challenge is this works on internet, right? Internet meaning if there is internet only, this will all work. But even when we know that when we consider our Wi-Fi to more than four devices or three devices, then also are we are facing currently the issue, right? So our Wi-Fi or our uh, internet network is not that much uh, having the efficiency to connect all these devices. So there will be a problem with the connection services. That is the most important problem. Then other problems are other problems are complexity in operation, and there will be an increased dependence on technology. Okay, and or will all will be automated, or all will be related to the uh, devices so sense there this means that manual involvement or in employment of manual staff will be less so this will lead to unemployment right okay these are some of the challenges